look like they could be in unison if they're not in if they're not in trouble. Not careful, I should say. Looked like he backed off a little bit there and looked up at the treetops, John. Yeah, it's whirling around down here, Jay. It's not easy. It is not easy. Pins at the front, trying to knock it down, take it out of the wind. And that bunker finds yet another customer. Or victim, whichever way you look at it. Better. His previous bunker shot was poor by his standards. That's more like it. This was after a superb bunker shot. Slightly awkward downhill. Had to have a wide stance for it. Playing out towards the water and to tidy up to make you up and down. Good three from Wiesberger. Wiesberger following suit out with driver, rightly so. Two big hits to get home in two today. There's a lot of elevated tee box out here on the golf course, and this is just one of them. Bernd Wiesberger just trying to work it in with his body right to left. And you can see that the fairway does camber that way too. Well, Wiesberger going for it, and Ryan Fox obviously a lot closer to the flag after two tremendous tee shots from both these players. Well, Tegi in good nick though, hit a great shot from where he was. He's found the right side. He went went up the narrow entrance towards the green. He's just shy of it. At 271, it's playing uphill. That's taken all the yardage into consideration. How much is playing up? Tight pin on the right. Trying to move this hard from left to right. That's a decent leave. He's got enough green to work with there. But Wiesberger, I mean, in prime position to be chipping for three and gives himself another opportunity to try and make a birdie. Interesting is caddy Jamie Lane there, you can see on your left side of the screen, walked 18 holes this morning. And a lot of the caddies, when they're playing in the afternoon, do tend to do that. Well done to two under. We've seen a couple of shots where that right hand just comes off I mean, on that top plateau, which is a good thing. Just through the ferry, a bit of a jumpy lie this one for Wiesberger, 124 yards to go. Pretty lofty club and I shouldn't get the jumper really. Yeah, just not managing to get ooh, not managing get to get the grip on it, and that's ugly. Awkward shot, just flew out. Yeah, plenty of frustration, as we can tell. Bit of fiddler and just flew out. If there's any part of his game that he needs to work on, it does tend to be the putter in hand. Brilliant tee to green, but 141st this year with putts per green and reg. Come on, bird. Here we go. Three without, up the hill, 279 yards into the breeze, uphill. This is all about just trying to find the fairway up there, closer to the green. It's 
one drawing a little bit, trying to squeeze it on. Yeah, not far away, but that has really dived down into the lush stuff. Man, nice and sharp on the back of it, Burnby's Burger. Come on. Oh, there's no speed in that. No. Is it still him to go? It is. Still get out of this with a par. No. He knew, didn't he? He knew. He instantly hit it that he'd pulled it. Wiesberger falling victim to the long rough around the greens here at PGA Catalonia Stadium course. Reeves bunkers down the left, about 290 yards. I'm aiming just at the right edge of the ones down the left and just feed it off that from left to right. But the wind just not helping. It's a little bit into their faces off the right hand side. So you can aim it towards that tight gap in the fairway. Friendly bounce. Forwards and left. Take that. Yeah, well he's got about 195 yards to go up the hill. Great tee shot, and see. This is just a five iron tall one. Nicely done. We're trying to swing it in a little bit more from right to left, but it's definitely acceptable. Judging that, look at how close Adrian will take he is to Brent Beesbury. He's going to get a free read from this. This is this man, Brent Beesberger. Can he pick up a birdie here at 15 and get back to even par? I think he can. He can, but will he? That's the difference. <laughs> I think he can. <laughs> he did. Good birdie four. Two good shots. Good two putt. Out the left rough. Looked like it sat down a bit because you couldn't really see the top of the ball at all. And you can see the release. It holds on. Should be able to make an up and down from there. Looks like it's teed up. Little dinky one here, Jay, just to the edge of the green. Let it filter on down there. Didn't quite catch it. I fancied him for that. Mm, I gotta say. Yeah, he's not going to be a happy camper after that. Yeah, but the mumble's going. He'll be out in full force again tomorrow, I tell you. Now, Bert Wiesberger. Got a good first bounce, just in the first cut of rough for Wiesberger. Might be in the first cut, but a good angle to that left hole location. Just a solid eight arm for this man. Creativity, and that's what this man needs right here to finish with a birdie three and get back to even par and on the cut line heading into tomorrow's second round. Well, he too reads too much break. It's going to be a par at the final hole for Bernd Wiesberger in a round of 73, or he is tied for 75th. Watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.